Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it is Francesco here. So in this video what we're going to be doing is addressing my sort of usage with Bear and Evernote. I've been getting a lot of emails regarding how I use them in tandem and how I've sort of evolved to use them together. So for those who don't know, I have been an Evernote user for about five, six years now, ever since I was in college, um, and I found it very useful as an experience for helping me organize myself. Now, with Evernote, I actually store things like PDFs, uh, documents, everything and everything calendar-wise so that I can um, plan in advance. I've just done a video on that one called How I Plan in Evernote of all of my... It's basically my second brain right there. Now, the one thing that I think I struggle inside of Evernote is create these fast, quick notes. Now, I know that, like, developing their system, and obviously, of course, there's stuff out there, but the one application I found most helpful is Bear. Now, my sort of evolution of this is I actually was using Google Keep as a way for me to make quick notes on the go. These would be things like shopping checklists, uh, any scripts, any quick uh, items that I might need to remember, uh, just as a sort of soft um, note-taking application versus a hardcore one, which works great in its context. So I've actually moved from Google Keep to Bear in the last six months, and what I actually use Bear for is specifically keeping scripts um, and actually making quick notes for certain things. So as you can see, this is my Bear account. I have um, scripts coming out of my ears at the moment. Um, so as you can see, these are the questions that I asked um, David Allen and a couple of other scripts for uh, some other videos that are upcoming. So I actually just keep scripts in the hashtag script section inside of Bear. Um, I also have a couple of other running notes and any notes that I make for YouTube in terms of like giveaways and stuff like that. But at the moment it is, as, as you can imagine, a very soft use of Bear. There's really no intricacies to it. Uh, so what I'll do, is I'll start the video, I'll title it script so that I know in advance what I'm actually writing about. So for example, if I put Bear and Evernote uh, use, then what I do to start the note is of course add it to the script section, which will make it appear up here in the script section, which is great. The one tool that I use most in Bear is the info feature, where I can actually see all of the information uh, this is actually great for when I'm, if I need a quick word count on something, or I need to see the read time of it, then everything's there. And actually exporting it to PDF is probably one of my favorite features. One thing that I do is if I want to make a quick proposal to someone or send out something, this is really simple, like looks great, uh, but I have it there. So I've actually chosen just for themes wise, I've gone with, I think it's Cobalt, maybe Cobalt, or was it Pan, no, it was, uh, Toothpaste. I think I was going with Toothpaste, a great solution on the Bear Pro, um, and I've kept that the same uh, since I've actually used it um, since my last video. So I'll use Evernote a lot more than Bear, but I'll still use Bear in the context of creating these scripts and having them all there. Now I find the Bear iOS application a little smoother than the Evernote one, so at the moment I'm using that as my go-to way to get to scripts, especially when I'm using the computer to film and I want to quickly look at the Bear app uh, and actually see all of the information there. It's quite handy and it syncs quite fast as well, but I've noticed in the last six months that the Evernote app has been syncing very well. Anyway guys, I hope that cleared up how I'm using Evernote at the moment. Evernote is basically my second brain, with Bear being my extension brain. So actually just having a few extra notes, uh, being able to write uh, lightweight notes instead of heavy notes, nothing that includes files, things that include simplicity and just a basic use of the hashtag function. I'm sure this will evolve, evolve over time, but this is my current state of usage. So I can use them both together without them interrupting their experiences. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this feature. Let me know in the comments how you use Evernote or how you use Bear or whether you use them together because I'd love to hear. Anyway guys, make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Let me know in comments, all of that. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.